Hello friends. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about the structure of ovule and types of ovule. So first we will uh, discuss that what is the structure of ovule and then we will discuss about the uh, types of ovule, right. So if you talk about the gynoecium or the female reproductive part of plant, it is divided into stigma, style and ovary. The ovary is the basal bulbous part and it contains many uh, ovules. So we have to discuss about the structure of the ovule. We can call ovule as an integument megasporangium. It can integument megasporangium because the megasporangium or we can say the ovule, it is covered by the integuments. So it is known as the uh, integument megasporangia or a megasporangium. So if we talk about the immature stage or the early stage, at that time the ovule is actually the multinuclear, uh, multicellular uh, tissue which is known as the nucellus. So the nucellus is a tissue which is uh, multicellular and it is covered by the uh, integuments. This is the initial stage of the, we can say the ovule. Why I am saying initial stage? Because uh, when the ovule gets matured, then we call it as a, the uh, female gametophyte or embryo sac. So initial stage as I told you, ki jo ovule hai ya jo megasporangium hai, wo multicellular nucellus ka tissue hai, jo ki covered by uh, two integuments hai, right? So if the number of integument is one, then we will say the unitegmic ovule and if the number of integument is two, then we will take, we will say that it is a uh, bitegmic ovule and sometimes the condition is also ategmic when uh, any integument is not present uh, in the case of lorenthus or centellum so thoda sa brief account hai is slide mein iske dekh ke bhi aap apne point notes bana sakte hain ki ovule initially stage mein kya hai ek multicellular tissue hai jisko hum nucellus kehte hain iske dono taraf integuments hain yadi integuments ka number ek hai then in that case we will say unitegmic agar do hai then bitegmic aur yadi कोई इंटेग्यूमेंट प्रेजेंट ही नहीं है तो उस केस में हम उसको एटेग्मिक ओव्यूल कहेंगे जिसके कुछ एग्जांपल्स आपके सामने हैं लोरेंथस और सेंटेलम तो अगर ये जो दो इंटेग्यूमेंट्स आप देख रहे हैं इसके चारों तरफ बने हैं सपोज करिए कि ये एक टिश्यू है जिसको हम लोग न्यूसेलस टिश्यू कह रहे हैं मल्टीसेलुलर टिश्यू कह रहे हैं इसके चारों तरफ दो इंटेग्यूमेंट्स हैं तो इंटेग्यूमेंट जहां पर कंप्लीट नहीं है जहां पर पूरी तरह से नहीं बन रहा है वहां पर एक पोर क्रिएट हो जाएगा एक ओपनिंग क्रिएट हो जाएगी जिसको कि हम कहेंगे माइक्रोपाइल सो माइक्रोपाइल इज एक्चुअली एन ओपनिंग व्हिच इज फॉर्म ड्यू टू द इनकंप्लीट इंटेग्यूमेंट्स एंड द बेसल पार्ट ऑफ द ओव्यूल फ्रॉम वेयर दीस इंटेग्यूमेंट्स arise is known as the chalaza so we are having two ends one is known as the micropylar end which is present at that place where the integuments are not complete right and the opposite end to the micropyle is known as the chalaza or chalaza end from where the integuments arise and this ovule it is attached to the placenta by a stalk like structure which is known as the uh, funicle and the point where this ovule is attached to the uh, funicle is known as the hilum तो यहाँ पे आपको दो तीन टर्म्स मिले हैं एक तो माइक्रोपाइल जहाँ पे इंटेग्यूमेंट्स पूरी तरह से कंप्लीट नहीं है एक पोर बन रहा है दूसरा आप देखेंगे चलाजा चलाजा मतलब वो एंड जो माइक्रोपाइलर एंड के ऑपोजिट है और जहाँ से इंटेग्यूमेंट्स एराइज हो रही हैं जिस पॉइंट पर ओव्यूल प्लासेंटा पर अटैच है उस पॉइंट को हम हाइलम कहते हैं और उस पॉइंट पर एक स्टॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर जिसको हम फ्यूनिकल कहेंगे फ्यूनिकल की मदद से जो ओव्यूल है वो प्लासेंटा पर अटैच होगा तो जो स्टॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर है वो फ्यूनिकल है और जो पॉइंट है जहाँ पे अटैचमेंट है ओव्यूल का प्लासेंटा पर दैट इज नोन एज दी हाइलम सो दीज आर द फ्यू टर्म्स विच यू शुड नो एट द टाइम ऑफ राइटिंग द मटेरियल और द आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ देर आर टू मोर टर्म्स वन इज ऑप्टूरेटर नाउ दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर विच एक्चुअली डायरेक्ट दी पॉलिन ट्यूब टूवर्ड्स दी माइक्रोपाइल so this is a structure which is known as obturator it directs the growth of pollen tube towards the micropyle that means ki pollen tube should enter inside the ovule through the micropyle now endothelium is a specialized nutritive tissue and which is formed by the dissolution of innermost layer of the integument so as we are uh, discussed as we have discussed earlier there are one or two integuments so if the innermost layer of the integument it gets dissolved so it will work as a nutritive tissue for the developing ovule so in that case that will be known as the endothelium so we have uh, revised two three terms one is uh, ategmic bitegmic uh, 
unit technic ovules then we discuss about the chalazal end and the micropylar end then what is funicle what is hilum and what is placenta right now we should move to the next slide if you can see over here now these are the uh, types of ovule there are different types you can see the names are written over here arthrotropus anatropus amphitropus campylotropus hemitropus and sarcinotropus so you can write down the names of uh, six type of ovules which are found in the angiosperm we will discuss later first we will move to the uh, next slide now you can see in this slide that this is actually the presence of ovule which later on in the mature stage get organized into the embryo cell earlier it is situated like this you can see that this is the micropylar end where these two integuments you can see there are two integuments right so these two integuments are not completely covering at this point so a pore is there an opening is there which is known as the micropyle okay so the portion which is just opposite to the micropyle here you can see it is the chalaza or you can see it is the chalazal end or the micro uh, chalazal pore and this is the micropylar pore so now you can easily see that we have an kind of you can say the excess like on one end chalazal pore is present on the excess of other end micropylar pore is in present and funicle so there are three uh, terms which we have to remember regarding the um, orientation of the uh, ovule now this is actually a diagram which is showing you the structure of an embryo sac as i told you that when embryo get this uh, ovule get matures it will get converted into the uh, embryo sac so let us move to the previous slides where, where we have to discuss about the types of ovule so if in this case uh, the first type which is known as the uh, arthrotropus uh, type or sometimes it is also known as the straight type this one look at this diagram so here the micropylar end the chalazal end and the funicle they lie in the straight line so this is an example of you can say the arthrotropus uh, in the next slide we will come to know regarding some of the material and some of the example here we are discussing uh, in the uh, diagram or uh, the structure we are discussing in the diagram actually so let us come to the b part it is the anatropus type of ovule Hello, right so this is the um, anatropus you can see that it is just the same thing but in the inverted position if you invert this uh, diagram it will be look something like this so anatropus is actually uh, you can say that an inverted ovule here the ovule is completely inverted so that the micropylar end and the hilum they come very close to each other now let us see the um, third diagram which is uh, amphitropus here the ovule shows the you can see the here, ovule shows the um, curvature so it is a horseshoe shaped uh, ovule here so this is uh, the third type and in the fourth type it is known as the compilotropus here the ovule is curved and the micropyle is directed towards the chalaza and chalaza you can see that situated at the right angle to the funicle you can see some examples in the next slide now <clears throat> this is the fifth one okay it is hemitropus or you can see the hemianatropus there are two terminology hemitropus or hemianatropus for this kind of structure so here you can say the nucleus and integuments uh, they are more or less at right angle to the uh, funiculus as i told you that whenever we will discuss about the structure of the ovule we will discuss in reference to the chalazal end micropylar end and the funicle uh, taking that as a excess and the position of the embryo right now let us come to the four, uh, sixth type which is known as the sarcinotropus and in this case you can see that this uh, blackened portion it is actually the funicle and it is very long and it forms a ring like structure or you can say it completely uh, covers the ovule and uh, this type of structure is known as the uh, sarcinotropus ovule so these are the kinds of ovule right so initially we have discussed uh, uh, here in the previous slide mm, let us move to the previous slide here we have discussed the structure of the ovule uh, and here we are discussing about the uh, types of ovule now if you will go to the next slide then you can get some material over here as i told you previously there are six types orthotropus and the examples are family polygonaceae and piperaceae the anatropus type of ovule the example in the majority of the angiosperms especially in the uh, plants of gametophyte where the petals are in a uh, fused condition right in amphitropus the families are uh, butomaceae alismaceae where the uh, embryo is horseshoe shaped campylotropus uh, as you can see the ovule is curved 
and the members are leguminosae and uh, chinopodaceae. You just remember just one family, that will be enough. And you should remember this, uh, actually, the definition of the kind of food. And through the previous slide, you can just write down the Mm, or make the diagrams then you will be it will be sufficient for the types of ovule okay then hemitropus or anatropus when the nucleus and integuments lie more or less a triangle to the funiculus and the example is uh, ranunculus type and sarcinotropus here the example is cactaceae family or you can say the opuntia so these are the types of ovule now let us move to the next slide right so here we, we can say that this is the as i told you this is the nucleus tissue in the initial stage inside the nucleus tissue ovule is present then it shows the formation of uh, embryo sac through the process of uh, megasporogenesis and megagametogenesis so in the next slide or we can say that in the next video we will discuss about the uh, megasporogenesis and megagametogenesis where a megaspore is formed and which gets converted into the uh, completely female gametophyte or we can say the embryo sac here you can see that this is the structure of the embryo sac so it, this we will discuss in the next video this video was just for the structure of the ovule and the types of ovule. Thanks.